Morning friends, we are starting off our day getting ready to go for a 5k run walk. So it's our community's Danish days and so there's a lot of activities going on today. And it's 7.30, I'm feeding the girls breakfast. My husband's gonna run it because he's more of a runner and I'm gonna run walk. So that I would bring you along on this full day of activities. There's a parade later. We're gonna go try some authentic Danish food and just enjoy the day. On your marks, go! No. You see the finish line? With the lights? Well, I was not expecting to run that whole race, but I did. I think the adrenaline kind of kicked in and I do have a little bit of a competitive side. But it was fun to run that and my husband ran, like I said, as well. Um, so now it's time to cool off, shower, and get ready for the parade here this morning. It's a beautiful cloudy day. So it was almost 100 yesterday and it's going to only be in the mid 80s today. So a much better day for outdoor activities. It's nice to be clean after really being sweaty and I'm a little bit sore. So it was good for me. But um, we're just hanging out for a little bit before we head out to the parade. Nadia's having a short little morning nap. Then go play. <laughs> then go to the parade. So, um, yeah, and then we'll go try our ethnic food. And Blaze actually has a stand that he is gonna be working for his business where people get to try sour pickle balls. So I guess it's a craze on YouTube and TikTok. So if you're interested in sour pickle balls, go check that out. loud. <laughs> Is that a funny sound? Yeah, more horses! Whoa! Here's Daddy! He's got the sour pickle balls. More treats. Yeah, she's had plenty. She had like four things already. Here's Daddy's stand. That looks good. Should we try an egg? What's that? Should Mom try a bite of this? Ready? Mmm. Try a bite of the bacon. Let's try this. The really nice thing about living in a small town is you get to come home for breaks. So both girls are down for a nap. The authentic Danish food, it was pretty good. It was just um, not enough. So actually we came home and the girls ate some more leftovers and I had some ground roast beef that we had made for a lunch a couple days ago. It just wasn't quite enough, but those desserts were really good. So just like prunes and raisins in that cup. It's called sweet cream, I guess. I didn't know exactly what some of the other sandwiches had on it, but they weren't bad. Just, like I said, not quite filling enough for three of us. And another thing of being in a small town and owning a business, like my husband, is you have to be very involved. So he's still at his stand doing his candies and pickleball challenge and doing that till probably here. Um, he's probably cleaning up because it lasted till 1 and it's 1.15. But we're gonna rest here at home for a little bit. I've got laundry going. It's hopefully supposed to rain. We've been so dry and we're really praying. It is raining. Oh, praise the Lord. So it's raining. So excited that we need we need the rain. It's been like almost 100 every day and it's gonna be 100 next week. Like I said though, we're just gonna hang out here at home for a while. Maybe go do something else this evening. I'm not sure. I think I wanna just make a meal at home for supper though too. But it's been a full morning and the girls were exhausted and ready for their naps. Also, I think we've got enough candy to last us until Halloween. So the local movie theater handed that out. But I'll probably just go through that. Oops. Go through this and get rid of any broken candies. And then just tuck a few away as Nevea does not need this much candy. And I know my husband will enjoy having some of this too. But yeah. 
so much and this from about a 40 minute parade all right so i got it divvied up so this stuff will stay at our house separated the suckers and the gummies and then all this will go out to blaze's work for his employees to have little treats so that's a lot of candy to get in one parade like i said and one little girl does not need that much nor do we need to keep it in the house the rain is just absolutely peaceful out here right now I'm just enjoying some of my flowers standing out here in the rain i just did a flower garden tour here not too long ago and these were not blooming yet but they're just so pretty and i've got some of my white snapdragons that are blooming my rose bush is actually re-blooming again, I think. And there's one bloom. And then my dead one's right there. And I just got this cute little sign. It's a really heavy metal sign at a garage sale for a dollar not too long ago. But just really love that little touch. You know what else I haven't done for you guys is given you an official produce garden tour. So you've seen me work in it here and there, but my peas are all right here, my snap peas, and then I have some carrots, and I also have some colored carrots in here too. And just some of my herbs like chamomile, and I have some kale right over there, some mint, and then I have some beets right there, some dill. <laughs> There's a bee on the dill and my cucumbers right there in this back little garden i have my bigger beets so i planted those quite a bit sooner then i had a second planting of carrots here you can see them kind of coming up i picked some broccoli back there and just one broccoli plant over here i have potatoes and a ton of volunteer marigolds so i'm just leaving them i'm not a huge fan of orange flowers but they're kind of pretty to have in a vegetable garden. And then all along this fence are my sweet potato slips that I got, um, and they're doing really well. All my sweet potatoes are doing so well right there. Now, one thing you'll notice in my garden, I don't have any mulch down, really. I kind of missed the boat on that and didn't get it done soon enough. So, weeding has been a lot more um, taxing this year just because I don't have the weed preventer down. While I'm over here next to our aquaponics, it's just filling, so it's really full right now. I have some tomatoes in here. I don't know, I must have accidentally dropped a lettuce seed. <laughs> then I have some onions. There are some peppers, but I don't think they're going to produce. They're really little. More onions, some kale, some lettuce. I don't think my peas are going to do anything either. I think they get too hot on the rocks, maybe? Like I said, since it's been so hot out basil i just made some pesto in my last video for you with that i don't think these are going to make it either cabbage broccoli this pepper was doing fine and now it's dying so i don't know sometimes i wonder if it's missing a certain nutrients or not and it's just hit and miss sometimes in here what i need and then all the fish so we have 75 goldfish in here to feed well, it's pee and poo are the nutrition for the aquaponic system in there. And you can see there's some big ones in there. Okay, this is one of my favorite gardens because I love the sweet corn in the background and sunflowers that I have. So I just have some peppers here, some tomatoes right there, um, the sweet corn. And then I put some red onion and white onion or yellow onion. I think it was yellow onion. And then some purple beans and some other green beans. And then my sunflowers in the back, which are getting little heads on the top. So I love having all my different gardens. It would be kind of nice to have it all in one plot, but with the area we have in our backyard, we wanted some yard as well for the girls to play and for our dog to be. So they're just all split up in three different plots. And then of course my flower garden. So if it were me, I would have a lot more flower garden and produce garden than we do. I just know I need to say no at some point to too much so I can handle some of this stuff. I also have one zinnia right here. <gasps> and there's just a garter snake right there. Oh, the joys of gardening <laughs> anyways yeah so here's my sunflowers and you can see 
the heads are kind of coming, slowly coming on. So in a, couple, a week or so, I'll probably have that. And then the corn is starting to get some little ears. So fun to see all this growth. And my corn is pretty tall. It's probably six foot or seven foot tall. Oh, I didn't want to waste this space either. Oh. Sometimes Maggie digs when she's afraid and she just dug that pepper plant while we were gone. <laughs> so anyways, I didn't want to waste this little corner space like for a sidewalk up to our house. <laughs> so I planted some onions there and a pepper. So I'm gonna try to fix that because yeah, if there's a lot of loud noises or thunder, she gets a little nervous if we're not home and she'll start digging. So she has actually dug up a lot of my back flower garden, which I didn't show in my last um, cottage sale garden tour video because she had dug it up but she will lay in this area to like, protect herself but I'm gonna try to fix that and then I'm gonna head in so we kind of spent the rest of the afternoon in the house it's still raining which is wonderful so we all rested a little bit I pulled in the laundry and now I'm working on supper I'm just using Farmhouse on Moon sourdough skillet bake. So just some ground beef, random vegetables. I had some broccoli I needed to use up. So cut that up and put it in there. And then I had some sourdough starter too because that goes on the top that I needed to be using. So uh, something hearty is what I'm making with some vegetables since we didn't have much of that today. Here it is with a nice large salad, some home canned peaches that I'm trying to use up before I get some new ones. And this is really good with some ketchup on it or um, even salsa if you make it more of a Mexican style. So I know the rest of the evening was pretty uneventful, but it was a very front heavy day with a lot of activities. But I think I am going to read a book for a little bit. So I have not read a book in probably several years from front to back that's been just kind of a for fun book. So this one my husband recommended to me. It's Ernest Hemingway, The Old Man in the Sea. It's just interesting. I am probably three fourths of the way through it already. It's very little as you can see, but it's nice just before bed I might read two or three pages um, 10 pages and I just thought to myself what is 10 more minutes of being awake and reading than going to bed like right at 10 I can read it till 10 10 so it's been good for my mind and soul to read a book so maybe my next book will be one that is more up my alley too which is like a mystery or a romance novel or something like that but this has been good too. Mm -hmm. 